What is up guys welcome to a new video in this video we'll be scheduling backup for our EC2 instances using the AWS backup service and for this we are following this blog which is published by AWS itself I'll link this in description so I have two instances up and running we'll quickly head over to the AWS backup service here as we can see that uh, nothing is configured yet first we'll go to backup vaults and create a vault for us so vault is a place where we will find all the backup uh, which is happening and uh, from there we can restore it directly so suppose my account i'll give it a name akash backup vault kms i'll take it as default and create the vault after that we'll head over to backup plans and create a backup plan for us we'll build a new plan give it a name akash backup plan again rule name akash backup rule the vault which we created and the frequency would be daily as we want it to be daily and we can do it uh, custom as well and after that let's give it a time oh, and first i'll select the ist india I'm not able to get India. Yeah, it's Asia, Kolkata. And let's give it a time. So now it's uh, around, uh, it will be 6 p.m. I'll take it uh, 6 p.m. only, which is 18. So that we can see if the backup is happening or not. Okay, so now the start within. Here we will select one hour. This will indicate that the backup should start within one hour. If I give it a time as 18. So before 19, the backup would start and now it is showing as complete within so i'll make here six hours because i want my backup to be done within six hours that's it we don't want point in recovery we'll set up a retention of three days as it is a daily backup and we don't want to copy it and yeah nothing so windows vss is also not required so we have created a plan once you created a plan it will ask us to assign the resources now here resource assignment name uh, it is recommended that you give the server name and after that i'll mention it as a daily backup as we are storing it in a daily backup and uh, let's give it a default rule we can create a rule also but uh, i'll keep it as default as of now and now i'll include a specific resource so now this is my resource that i want the backup for i'll take the instance id and i'll select here ec2 and uh, okay and i'll mention the specific instance that i want the daily backup to happen with a three days retention and that's it i have assigned the resource and it's done so now uh, i have assigned a backup for my jump vm suppose after a week i want the daily backup to happen for app one as well i'll head over to backup plans and in the resource assignment i'll assign resource once again i'll give it a name i'll copy it it is app one daily backup and then after that include specific resource it is a ec2 and i'll mention the ec2 instance id and i'll assign the resource so now we have assigned the resources for a backup at 6 pm now it's 5 pm and uh, this is my backup rule here is the place where i will find all the backup jobs that has happened and in the backup vault i will be able to view the recovery points as in the backup would have happened so i have a retention of three days and from here i can select and restore it directly so anyways we'll wait for five more minutes for backup to happen and then i'll catch you up yeah so we are back now and it's 6 38 and as you can see now the backup job has completed and the backup job has came into existence around 6 7 i have seen it and the creation time is 6 exactly and also you can see that uh, we can see the backup in the vaults now so this is the recovery point we can directly select it actions and restore it also the backup would be visible in the ec2 screen as well if we go to ec2 and here amis so yeah the backup is here as well so you can restore it from this screen as well also now there is one question uh, that is the aws backup service will it reboot the instance or not so I found this blog where it uh, clearly states that uh, the AWS backup service do not reboot the EC2 instance at any time. So you can use this and uh, be rest assured that this won't reboot the production instances. 
and uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching